Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments. Apple, again, setting a, an intention. So here's your um, reading message, right? Sometimes, oftentimes what I receive is that God, Gaia, ancestors, angels, and saints will have you revisit the past in order for you to recognize, truly recognize how far you've come. Because here's the thing that I receive. You don't acknowledge your growth. You feel like you, you've just been on this forward uh, trajectory, like plan, right? You've been, what I see is someone that's just marching ahead, marching, like it's a part of the mission, right? I have to march. This is how I go from A to B, right? But <laughs> as you've progressed, like you've gone miles and miles, right? I mean, <laughs> you've gone farther than anyone can even truly comprehend because when they meet you, they meet you where you are, right? And you don't represent where you were, you represent where you are and where you have the potential of going. Now that's a whole word in itself, right? But what I received to share with you is that the reason why God keeps having you revisit the past and, and physically revisit these places that maybe you grew up or um, places and spaces that you used to visit in your childhood and you think were larger than life, right? It's because God wants you to understand and acknowledge and recognize how much you've grown, how far you've come, right? Now, this isn't shade to where you were, it's just acknowledgement to where you are and where you have the potential of going, right? Those are two different things. So here's the story I failed to share with you. You know, oftentimes, like when we grow up in certain places, we may feel like it's larger than life, right? I can recall uh, coming to visit where I live now. I live in Chicago and I can recall the drive to Chicago in, in my youth. And I would think, wow, this is amazing. Like, wow, this city, um, the way the buildings are set up, the way the houses and the businesses and all these things, you couldn't tell me that it wasn't New York City, right? You couldn't tell me that it wasn't like larger than life. I thought it was like Las Vegas, right? I thought it was just Paris. I, it was everything to me in my childhood, right? Now, of course, I live here now. And so it's just like, okay, it's Chicago. But the reason why I'm giving this example is because Again, it's a situation and scenario of we didn't know back then because we didn't have that same exposure as we do now in, in our adulthood, right? And that's, again, not shade because I don't want you to focus on the fact that, well, wow, you're putting down where you were before. No, I'm not. It's just an example of evolution. It's just an example of growth. And oftentimes the reason why spirit will have you revisit those places that you thought were bomb.com in your childhood, maybe that restaurant, maybe that business establishment, maybe even that person that you gave so much credence to and you thought could do no wrong. You thought they were holier than thou and you put them up on the highest pedestal because no one could be any better than them, right? But then God gave you the, the opportunity of expansion, of experience. And so now you know that the only reason that you put these things on a pedestal is because you had no exposure, you had no experience. So now that you know better, you can do better. Again, it's not an insult to where you were. It's a, a, an acknowledgement to where you have the potential of going and, and growing. So bottom line is don't cringe when you realize that you have to go back there, right? Because I know sometimes what I receive is that it elicits like this feeling of like, oh God, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to have to see these people. I don't want to have to experience these things. Now that's just you fearing that confrontation of yourself actually, right? Because then you have to acknowledge the pain that maybe you experienced and associate with those locations and or people. Now I'm not saying that you have to expose yourself intentionally to trauma and toxicity. No, it's called boundaries. It's called using your common sense. It's called doing what's best for you. But at the same time, if and when you find yourself returning to the place from whence you came, it is not to put them down, but it is to acknowledge whether it be personally or openly the fact that you have evolved, the fact that you have grown. Maybe it's to go back there and to allow other people to recognize and know that there is more than this bubble, this uh, microcosm in which they have <laughs> what I've, what I receive is learn to accept as their entire universe. You are the example and, and the, the case 
proving that there is more out there, that these things that we put on a pedestal are only reflections of the, the fact that we have had very limited exposure. And once we know better, we do better. So bottom line, continue to grow. Bring your information and your knowledge back if and when you feel inclined to do so, but continue to move forward because even the things, the people, places, and things that you are putting on a pedestal right now, as long as you continue to grow and move forward and evolve, you're going to be rubbing elbows with them in no time. And then you're going to be having that conversation like, man, I thought you were like, just to realize that they're just a person too that that restaurant is just a location that happens to serve yummy food, but they're not the end all be all, not for them and not for you. So keep growing and keep going because the world is your oyster. It's time to explore it and that's it, tomato.